While being a solo traveler for six years, I have met so many Americans who have actually left America for good and have moved overseas for a much more fulfilling, better lifestyle. I'm gonna show you five reasons from other Americans of why they left America. And I'm gonna add my commentary to it. Reason number one is healthcare and health insurance. I had two major spinal surgeries before we left the US and they cost almost a million dollars for both of them and after that, my insurance company tripled my rate. I couldn't afford health insurance anymore. Yeah, it was pretty terrible. It was a very, very stressful situation. And I think a lot of you can relate to that feeling of how am I going to afford my health insurance? Now, both of them together only pay $109, which includes JP's existing conditions, which is a quarter to what they used to pay in your Estados Unidos. Yeah, I'm just practicing my Spanish, man. Now, healthcare overseas is pretty good and really affordable. In Thailand, for example, the private care was really good. I remember going there after my sister got uh, food poisoning, right? And it was like a hotel. And what I loved about Mexico's healthcare, you could talk to your doctor on WhatsApp, which is so good. You don't have to like book in another appointment to see them, especially when you have questions. Now, of course, if you're a tourist in Mexico, it does cost a little bit more, but when you have your temporary visa, the price is very affordable. Number two, a lot of Americans as well are realizing that there's so much benefits growing a digital business overseas than it is in their own country. Okay, so for me, for example, I was in the US, I was in the, uh, Australia, but <laughs> it was really challenging to focus full-time on my business because I had to uphold the lifestyle there. I worked very far in the city, long hours sometimes, and then I'll have to travel all the way back home, go to the gym, little friend there. By the time I had free time, it would be around 9 p.m. and I wasn't able to focus because I had to sleep to get up early again. On top of that, if you wanna build your body, you need your body to recover. So sleep is very important. I didn't wanna sacrifice my body at the time. I literally moved to Thailand. Yeah. to do my business full time which was growing my youtube channel my other one and because i had all the time in the world to learn to study to really hone in on youtube within six months i was able to grow a really good cash flow if you want to know how you could do all that you can check out my workshop the link will be in the description below number three is racism and aggression in usa and also to escape the racism of the united states so and that's on period on her. <laughs> oh, and I think right now, especially with the current state of the United States, it was just super important for me to not have all of my energy, my energy, my all of my energy drained, and also to not live in a fee, uh, state of constant fear. And so I came to Mexico to escape that, to be completely honest. I met a lot of Americans that were so over the media and how America really puts people against each other that they just decided to leave. Out of all the black American friends that I've had in Mexico and in Thailand, a lot of them told me how much more safer and comfortable they felt there compared to how they felt in the United States. Now, I'm not saying there is no racism at all because I've had, had a friend who've had one bad experience in Playa de Carmen. Number four is barely surviving. If you are a retiree and you are only receiving the average social security check of $1,500 a month, how can you survive financially in the United States? In some places in the United States, $1,500 a month can't even pay your rent. So if you are finding it hard to survive financially in the United States, that means you don't have enough money maybe for food, for clothing, for rent, for healthcare, all of these things that are integral to living a life of quality. Now, if you've been following our channel, you know that our family of four lives here in Portugal for less than $2,000 a month. And that is so true. For example, in Cuenca at the moment, they have this apartment that they're renting out for only $450 per month. Beautiful view three bathroom, two bedroom. There are so many people who are barely surviving in USA due to healthcare. I have people coming out to me, oh man, and I can't travel overseas because my healthcare and I had to take care of my, my, my dad, he's sick and etc. Really look into what overseas insurance can do for your dad. Like you don't have to be at this 
shitty ass situation where you're barely surviving even if you got a job some people are barely surviving just imagine if you can get the job that you do and somehow make it a digital job which a lot of digital nomads do they find what you do and do it online like one of my good friends he's an assistant for the company that he works for in canada but he travels around the world doing it from his laptop so when you bring that currency over here you can really live and not be in survival mode. You'll be surprised how even overseas can be far more safer for your kids than it is for in your own country. Number five is low cost of living. I am all about doing what's best for my finances, not because I'm a money hungry, greedy bitch, but because to me, there's just nothing more important than freedom, financial freedom. And living in a low cost of living city allows me that freedom. Especially these days with the cost of rents and everything going up like crazy. I think this is super important. It's ironic because when you live in a high cost of living city like New York or San Francisco, yes, it's a lot of fun and you can get really high paying jobs in cities like that. But after paying state and city taxes and all the rent, you're not left with that much. One of the reasons why I never went back to Australia after successfully growing my YouTube channel and creating another cash flow is because I knew that I could invest more if I was to stay in countries like Thailand, Mexico, Ecuador. I knew I could invest more and create other streams of income for myself and provide a better financial future for myself than I could ever do in Australia. A lot of my American friends that move overseas to build that extra cash flow, they realize by staying here, they save so much money. And because of all the money they save, they are able to invest more into other businesses to create a better future for themselves and really generate good cash flow to create financial freedom. Now, as someone who's from Australia, a lot of you guys ask me why I would never live to America. And there is few of those reasons why I would never live in America, but there's actually Actually quite more and more specific things I can give you guys in another video just let me know in the comment section below if you want to hear that one thing for certain is that I will never go back to the West living overseas has changed my life in such a huge way just learning different cultures and you know developing my real entrepreneur business skills has been really good overseas compared to other countries anyway guys let me know what you think of these five reasons of why people were moving overseas why is that guy screaming let me know what your reason would be if you were to ever leave usa in the comment section below make sure to hit the subscribe button with the notifications because i have a lot more travel videos coming for you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video peace <sighs> oh my god my breath i'm living on high altitude man Whew. i'm getting used to it though